All right, so it's just going to be a quick video here of uh, how to use the new Kraken Sports uh, smart housing app. Um, been a few questions, so I thought I'd just run through really quick on how it works. Um, so I'm going to do it with a uh, iPhone uh, 8, I believe. So uh, just pop the phone in the case, select the app. Uh, just one thing to note. Um, to look on our uh, our website, make sure you're downloading the right app. Um, it's developed by Dot Sports Inc. That's us. Um, there's some other ones out there. It might be a little confusing. Just make sure you get the right one. When you open it up, it should look like this. Um, there's no uh, pairing. You don't need to go into your Bluetooth settings or anything like that. Um, just simply open the app and put the phone in the case. You'll see here now. 25% uh, Kraken, that's the uh, battery level of the housing itself. And then of course your phone, it's your phone battery level. Um, one uh, other suggestion too, before you use it, um, make sure you turn off any adaptive brightness, um, auto screen adjusting uh, your brightness and set your brightness at um, 100%. That way you'll be able to easily see it, especially if it's sunny, it can be hard to see. And if you leave a adaptive brightness or auto adjusting brightness on, uh, sometimes the screen will dim and make it really difficult to see. So anyways, once uh, you open up the app and you see the 20, uh, the Kraken, that means it's connected. Uh, your battery level showing. You're good to go. You can close up the case. Um, now I'm not going to, um, but uh, you can see here the red light. It's just showing the vacuum. There's no vacuum right now. Um, I'm not going to worry about doing that. You just take that port off and use the pump. Anyways, uh, so this is the app. Very straightforward, easy to use. Um, so right now you'll see here on the left side, there's a video, photo, playback, and settings. Uh, you can use the up and down arrows to cycle through those options. So there's your settings. And then to go into the menu, you just uh, click OK or menu button. And then you can see you can uh, Select your different settings there, flash, um, picture quality, um, pretty straightforward. Go back to the main menu, you just simply click back. And then the up arrow, and you're now back to the main menu. Once you want to take photo, um, you make sure you're highlighted on the uh, camera there. Click OK. You'll see it's now blue. That means you press the shutter button. And you're now you're now taking photos. You can see that's just like a uh, preview of the picture you just took. If you want to switch to video, just click the back button. You'll see that's no longer highlighted. Click your up arrow. You're now in video. Click OK. It's selected. You're ready to record. You can see there's a uh, timer up there at the top indicating you're recording. Once you are in uh, either photo or video mode, you can use the up and down arrows to zoom in and zoom out also. Just press the shutter button, stop recording. Now one other thing I will show you here too that is rather important, you're going to want to do it when you're on land. Um, take the phone out of the case. Uh, if you want to export the photos that you've taken into your camera roll, uh, all you need to do is just click the playback button, click the photo that you like, and then use this plus button. And you can see that it's indicate that it's copied there. That's now copied in your camera roll. If you don't do that, uh, you won't see all the pictures in your camera roll. This kind of lets you go through um, and kind of pick and choose the photos that you want uh, that are useful to you. Because you might get a lot of photos that you're, you know, might not be happy with, and you don't want to export them. This way, you can just pick your favorites. Um, well, that's it for now. Um, just to note, also that we are um, making a lot of updates as quick as we can to this. So there's going to be a lot more features coming in the in the upcoming uh, weeks. Uh, so just keep an eye on our social media, and uh, we'll make sure we make posts every time we do an update with new features. All right, thanks.